Hey, second grade, welcome to Reading and Writing. Today is Thursday, November 19th, 2020. Now, in our Zoom on Tuesday, we talked about opinions. Well, actually, we have been talking about opinions for a couple weeks. So your opinion is what you think or how you feel about something. So you would use words like, I like, I think, I believe, or you might use other words like best or favorite. Those all show opinions. Now remember that people can have different opinions and we need to respect people's different opinions. So we started forming our own opinions on Tuesday. We read two books on Tuesday, and today in reading group, we're going to continue, or if you're watching this after, we already did continue, reading Spare the Turkey. So in both books, the families are not eating turkey for their Thanksgiving dinner. So that got me thinking, what about if we didn't have th- turkey as the main dish on Thanksgiving? What would we eat instead? So you are writing an opinion paragraph. We started thinking about it, answering the question, in your opinion, what should we eat on Thanksgiving instead of turkey? And why? Because if we have an opinion, we have to support that opinion. We have to give reasons why. So I shared with you on Tuesday that if we didn't have turkey as the main dish, I would want mac and cheese to be the main dish. And I gave you some reasons why. I said it's cheesy and gooey. It tastes good with sides. Kids and adults like it. It's a fall color. You don't have to hurt any animals because there's no meat in it. And it's my favorite food. Today, I'm going to take these ideas, or maybe not all of them, but some of them, to write an outline. Because I will use this outline to help me write my full sentences in my paragraph. This is just like we did with Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I realize that both of our paragraphs that we've taken time to work on have been about food. I apologize, I didn't do that on purpose. But I hope you're enjoying thinking and writing about food. So I'm going to show you now how we can take these ideas and put them into our outline. If you remember from our last paragraph, Cloudy Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, if you remember that outline, we're doing this the same way. So you can watch this, and then you would take your own brainstorm paper and a new piece of paper to make your own outline. So first thing you want to do is put the date so that you remember when you wrote this. And for now, I don't have a title just yet, so I'm going to write outline. And I can be thinking of a title still. Now I want to start with my green dot to show my topic sentence. Green dot to show my topic sentence. So I wrote this topic sentence in a different color to show that you can use this topic sentence as well, but change the food to the food you specifically thought of. You don't have to use it, but you are welcome to. So I think we should eat mac and cheese instead of turkey for the main Thanksgiving dish. Notice how this topic sentence tells what my opinion is about that question. What should we eat as the main dish if we didn't eat turkey or instead of turkey? It specifically answers that question. Also notice that I capitalized Thanksgiving, that T, because it is the name of a holiday. And this dash right here, it's only there because I ran out of space and couldn't write Thanksgiving all in one line. It is one word. If you were able to fit on one line, there wouldn't be a dash. So now I am going to draw a line under this. And then I'm going to separate it like this. On the left side right here, I'm going to put a yellow dot with my first reason why I have this opinion. This is going to be one of the things on my graphic organizer from Tuesday. So I'm going to start with this one. Cheesy and gooey. 
Notice I'm not putting this in full sentences yet. I want you to do a full sentence for topic and conclusion, but for the rest of it, we don't have to just yet because we'll work on that step tomorrow. Instead, I put cheesy and gooey, but then I have to give more information with this red dot. I have to give more examples of why this cheesy and gooey would be good for Thanksgiving. And I thought, well, if it's cheesy and gooey, that means it'll taste good with mashed potatoes. Next, I'm going to think of what I want to put for my next yellow. So this will be another thing for my graphic organizer. And as you guys know, I love animals. So I'm going to put that as my next one. But I'm going to change it a little bit. Yesterday or on Tuesday, I put, I don't want to hurt any animals. I'm going to specifically talk about turkeys in this. So less turkeys will be hurt. And then for my red, I'm going to give a little bit more detail. And I want to talk about how we shouldn't harm God's creations. So that goes back to my yellow. Less turkeys will be hurt. We shouldn't harm God's creations. So now I have to put one more yellow dot. So one more reason. And while I was writing this, I thought of another reason that I really, really liked, but it wasn't on my graphic organizer. That is totally okay. The graphic organizer is a great spot for us to get started and think of ideas. But you might think of other ideas as you're writing, and that's okay to use them, even if it's not on your brainstorm. So for my next yellow, I'm going to put, it takes a shorter time to cook than turkeys. And I'll give a little bit more detail why that's a good thing with my red dot. More family time. So if it takes a shorter amount of time to cook, that means more family time. So now that I have my three yellows and my three red dots, I can write my conclusion sentence. So I'm going to draw a line like we did up above. And now, what color do I need to use for my conclusion sentence? Green. And just like with the topic sentence, I'm going to write this in blue to show that you can use this like sentence and fill in the blank. In my opinion, mac and cheese is the best and would make a great Thanksgiving meal. The best and great both show my own opinion. You might have a different opinion. So where I wrote in black, that's where you would put your own thoughts. So it wouldn't be the same exact sentence. Now, I also know a couple of you also chose mac and cheese for your writing. That's totally fine. We might have the same interests. But please make sure that you do not write the same exact ideas as me because I want to see your own thoughts. I don't want to just see my paragraph written again. So make sure that you, they are your own thoughts and ideas. All right, so now get out that brainstorm paper and a new piece of paper to write your own outline. Take your time, please write neatly so that you can read this because you'll be using this tomorrow to take these ideas and put them into full sentences. Thanks, second grade.